is Christiana Mutterkungness, and today I want to start off by showing you this clip of Honey Boo Boo. I'm a mama, I'm six, and I'm a beauty queen. Look, most of the credit depends on me, me, Honey Boo Boo child. I'm super sorry because I do pageant. Um, if you're wondering what that clip has anything to do with my topic, um, it's because I'm focusing on the media's strong influence on popular culture and how it has caused Americans to negatively view their own culture. Um, most of us have probably watched some sort of reality or entertainment television show in our lives or know someone who watches one religiously, so this topic definitely pertains to all of us. Um, I've been researching this topic through scholarly articles and they have reaffirmed my stance that um, Americans do negatively view their own culture because of pop culture and media. Next slide. First, I'd like to explain to you where the tradition of pop culture appearing in media came from. Um, according to Charles Ponce de Leon in his book, Self-Exposure, Human Interest Journalism and the Emergence of Celebrity in America, 1890 to 1940, the origin of pop culture began during the beginning of the 20th century. This was a little bit after the Victorian era, which emphasized self-discipline. So as a way to protest the Victorian um, era, Americans began to focus on personal growth, which included um, publicizing celebrities as a way to reveal their private lives, which previously hadn't been publicized and were kept private for the celebrities. The goal was to show Americans that celebrities could be happy, um, or they could be successful because they were happy, um, while living their life in the spotlight. Whereas today, we focus a lot on material goods and monetary things in media with celebrities. Um, and this is when celebrity journalism was born. Next slide. Um, next, I'll tell you how the media has the ability to shape our culture. In his article, The Seamless Web, Media and Power in the Postmodern Global Village, in the fall 1991 Journal of Popular Culture, J.R. McLeod explains how the media has essentially shaped us into a pop culture obsessed society. He says that televised media has a special power over society because they broadcast whatever they want society to see, whether it's public or social news. So basically, if um, the media wants us to see a certain side of war, they will only publicize that, and the same goes for celebrity gossip or what have you. This, in turn, gives them the power to mold our culture. Next slide. Um, according to Patricia Thompson, the author of The Influence of Popular Culture and Entertainment Media on Adult Education, media can either resist or reinforce dominant culture. Dominant culture is basically the classic culture that people are used to. For example, a dominant culture would be a man and a wife being married, whereas a non-dominant culture would be a homosexual relationship. She insists that because media contradicts itself so frequently by reacting, by recreating um, these, non, these dominant cultures and at the same time um, opposing the dominant culture, that it confuses the audience because it's so contradictory. Um, she concludes her argument by saying that it's obvious that pop culture is heavily influenced academic learners, um, even though it's not always negative, but usually it is. Um, because it is influencing and changing education, it's obvious that media has changed and shaped our culture. In addition, I'd like to share with you a major way in which our media has changed. 
September 11, 2012 changed not only our security policies and helped our country become more unified, but it also changed American media. Um, Jaap Kojeman is a professor in the Netherlands who taught American, who teaches American popular culture there. Um, in his article from 2011, Americans We Never Were, Teaching American Popular Culture in the Netherlands, in the Journal of American Culture, he describes that 9-11 in fact did change popular culture. And he says that this is mostly because um, the term 9-11 now has a cultural stigma attached to it whereas before it, of course, didn't. So today, a lot of um, television shows and movies are influenced by 9-11, and so that has really changed our media a lot, and therefore, it has obviously changed our culture as well, based on the media. Next slide. Finally, I'm going to point out to you um, a few technology factors, how, or how technology factors into this topic. Um, Bob Batchelor, the author of Digital Technology and Teaching American Culture, is an assistant professor at the School of Journalism and Mass Communication at Kent University. Um, his argument is that because technology is so prevalent in today's society, it's beginning to mix with our culture. Um, with this combination, we're never free of media, and therefore popular culture. So, with... Um, technology such as our smartphones and laptops and iPads, we can always access the news, always be on a social media which we can get um, constant feeds of news whether it's celebrity or otherwise. Um, so we're always going to have popular culture with us. Um, Bachelor also states that the fact that this um, the fact that this merging of the technology and culture it's expanded our American culture globally. And so that's kind of globalized our American culture of popular culture. Next slide. Um, in conclusion, um, I just wanted to um, reiterate the fact that the, me the media's pop culture influence began after the Victorian age as a protest to the strict self-discipline of the Victorian era. Um, the media has the ability to influence and mold the culture by broadcasting whatever news they want. And that can sometimes contradict itself by resisting and recreating dominant culture. Also, 9-11 changed media um, drastically by influencing pop culture with television shows and movies. And um, technology mixing with culture is spreading through America. And it's also spreading the American culture globally. And I think just as a... Or as a End note, um, we need to look towards the future and not dwell on popular culture as it is right now. And we need to be more focused on our education and employment because um, Americans are known to be one of the hardest working societies and we shouldn't let our popular culture media bring the stereotype of us down and we shouldn't have a negative opinion of ourselves. Thank you.